September 2009, kung paano kami na sa lanta ng Bagyong Ondoy. Galing pa akong school nun kasi may exam kami. Tapos na-stranded kami. Mga alas 10 ng umaga siguro yun. Okay, pagka na ako. Okay, ang snow na. Pati na ito na muna natin ito. Kaya mo na-stranded tayo. Tapos hanggang sa sinundo na ako ng service ko, nakarating kami sa bahay. Okay pa naman, malakas yung ulan, bumabag yun nun, pero hindi pa ganun kabaha. Hanggang sa ano naggabi. Ano na? Nag-aalas kis pa lang ham. Bakit? Hindi ako makatulog, ang nakas ng ulan sa labas. Hindi yan, mataas ang lugar natin dito ham. Eh paano pag binakakawa naman itong mga anak natin, maliliit pa. Hindi, sinabi yun dati, di ba? Okay, na mataas ang lugar natin, kaya hindi tayo binabaha. Bumalikan na, bumalikan na sa pagtulog. Doon na bumabaha. Habang tumataas yung baha, ang dami na nag-evacuate ng mga kapitbahay namin. Tumataas na po ang tubig. Maaari na po tayo lumigas. Nasa red alert na po tayo. Pakigising na lang po ang mga kapag-anak natin dyan. Yung mga iba po. At umaba din na po tayo. May mga kakatok po sa mga bahay nyo. Maraming salamat po. Evacuate na po tayo. At nasa red alert na po tayo. Pakigising na lang po yung mga iba. Salamat po. Tau po, tau po, tau po. Ay sir, tumataas na po yung ano natin, yung ilog natin. Baka pwede lumikas na po tayo. Kaya sabihan na lang yung mga kasama ninyo sa bahay. Ha? Sige, sige, sige. 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 Ay, bilisan na lang po. Ha? Sige po. Poppers. Uh, Kung anak, gising na. Kung anak, gising na. Gising na. Madaming mga gamit na hindi na isalba dahil sa bahang na inabot na hanggang bubong. Elevate furniture and electrical panel. Second, construct barrier to prevent flash flood. And three, ready things. The first thing you need to do during a flash flood is find a high place and stay there until the water goes down. Next, you need to listen to the news if you are going and able to evacuate that area. Next, you need to bring a SOS. And what is a SOS? It is Sagdata on Sarana. That includes whistle uh, and flashlight. After flash floods, you must listen for news updates so that you can be updated on what's happening on the surroundings. You must know before, during, and after the earthquake. Guys, let me tell you some sort of information on what are the things and what are you going to do before earthquake. At first, you need to prepare a first aid kit. Second, always keep a flashlight on your bags or inside your pockets. First aid kit is an emergency tool used when in danger. This tool must always bring wherever you go. Pangatlo, maghanda at magtabi ng mga pagkain. Best example dito is yung mga can, especially, especially yung tubig. All of us must know the safety method during an earthquake. Drop in a safe place, cover yourself or head to prevent from falling debris, and hold still until the shaking is done. This 
are the things that you need to remember after an earthquake incident. First, stay out of damaged buildings and areas. Second, follow emergency plans. And third, expect aftershocks. Lastly, don't forget the reminders before, during, and after tsunami. Second, move away from the, from the coastal area. And third, move to a high ground places. After the tsunami incident, these are the things you need to remember. First of all, you should go to a designated public shelter. Second, check yourself for injuries in, in case the tsunami made up. And lastly, you and go once to fish and tell you it's safe.